Minister of Interior Saw King on Sunday suggested officials of the Ministries of Interior and Justice and the Phnom Penh Municipal Hall discuss the segregation of detainees and convicts, particularly those convicted of drug offences. During the 14th International Traffic Accident Victim Days held in Kopek District, Phnom Penh, Saw King said drug convicts placed in the same prison as non-drug convicts could influence the latter to be involved in drugs as well. Saw King said the General Department of Prison has to assess the issue and enforce prison segregation to solve the problem. The Ministry of Interior, the Ministry of Justice and the Phnom Penh Municipal Hall will discuss which actions to take to separate drug convicts from non-drug convicts. He also ordered all concerned authorities not to be complacent with anti-drug work, but to be more diligent in combating drug crimes. If drug trafficking persists in a society, he said, more problems will arise, so it must be eliminated. We have to ensure the authorities confiscate the drugs. If a ton of drugs is trafficked into our society, we will be facing a myriad of problems, such as cases of robbery, full-scale corruption, money laundering, and terrorism. Ministry of Interior spokesman Kiu Sapet told the Post on Monday that, due to overcrowding in Phnom Penh prison, the facility had to send all detainees and convicts to correctional centers, where only convicts are placed. As can be seen, convicted criminals and the detainees who have yet to receive a final verdict are placed in the same prison, he said. Sophia said, drug offenders, murderers, burglars, and those in debt are housed in the same place. We must separate them based on felony and misdemeanor cases. However, the Director General of the General Department of Prisons at the Interior Ministry, Chan Kim Seng, said there were only a few instances where detainees and convicts were placed together in prison cells due to overcrowding. Kim Seng also denied that drug convicts with non-drug convicts were housed together. He clarified that it would be difficult for drug prisoners to have access to drugs due to the tight security at prisons. Phnom Penh Municipal Hall spokesman Met Mi Pek Day said the Municipal Hall was in talks to address prison overcrowding and ways to improve prison conditions. General Department of Prison spokesman Not Sauna previously told the Post that there were more than 36,600 detainees in prisons across the kingdom. Of the number, more than 3,000 were women, with many of them charged with drug offences. Correctional Center One or Amvon currently holds more than 9,400 detainees, while Correctional Center Two M2, which is more commonly known as Prison, has more than 1,800 detainees.